Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. Of course, the uh, overwhelming big story in this Sunday was the cool down after being in the low 90s and then the upper 80s on Saturday. Uh, Portland has cooled into the 70s today, uh, thanks to a cooler marine flow. The low clouds this morning now generally partly cloudy skies out there on this Sunday afternoon. So let's get you into this upcoming week. Of course, uh, this is the final week of June. July 1st is a week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow, Monday, uh, July 1st. How about that? Uh, okay, so what's going on? I've got two rain chances this upcoming week showing up. Neither one probably amounts to a whole lot, but there's a chance of at least some major bowl rainfall this coming Wednesday and Thursday. The best chance of that, to me, looks to be Wednesday night into Thursday morning if we get some major bowl rainfall. And then there's what looks to be a slightly better chance of some widespread measurable rain to some extent this coming Sunday. Both come with pushes of cooler weather. One push of cooler weather comes in Wednesday into Wednesday night, and the other one comes in Sunday of this uh, upcoming weekend or week from today. All right, so we've got the two rain chances, Thursday and Sunday, we'll call it. That first one I'm going to show you may start Wednesday. Other than that, though, to me, the overwhelming bit, big headline is this one down here at the bottom of the screen. Forecast mostly comfortable. We have a lot of days in the 70s upcoming, a few days in the 80s, but overall, very, very comfortable weather that I'm going to get you into. All right. The Momentous Wealth Podcast continues to sponsor my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. You can check out their podcast for um, investing topics and information and education. You can find them in Apple Podcast and on Spotify. Again, the Momentous Wealth Podcast. Search it easy, easy to find. I've listened to a couple of those and they're really terrific. Okay, um, let's get you going. Here we go. Nice day out there today. Look at Depot Bay is clear. Plenty of sun out in the gorge from the Channel House. Generally partly cloudy skies, though. There's wine country in the Dundee Hills to Main Serene Winery over on the east side, Persimmon Country uh, Club up in Gresham. Uh, you've got Oregon City showing some clouds. Clear over in Central Oregon. Again, a lot of sun out in the gorge. Clouds up in Kelso Longview. And look at the clear skies from the Ennett Otter Crest. They have a south and a north facing camera down there in Lincoln County. Temperatures pretty much on track. The forecast high for Portland today was 74 degrees. And at four o'clock, um, we are 71. So probably low 70s is going to end up being the high today in Portland. Salem 73, Vancouver 70. Everybody's comfortable. Again, that can be temperature runs too hot. I need to see if I can get a different site reporting because that one's just way too hot. SDK is typically okay, but I would say that's not working. 86 is not right. So you've got upper 60s and generally to about 74 across the metro area on this Sunday afternoon. Okay, two flow patterns. First one is the upper flow pattern, kind of highlighting our rain chances and if it's going to be cool or hot as I take you through this. This is the... Uh, I'm sticking with the GFS America model, which has been outperforming the European model for the last couple of months. Maybe uh, the American model is finally getting its mojo going. We'll see. All right. This is 18,000 feet, 500 millibar contours of equal pressure. This is this afternoon, a cool low up in Canada. We're on the southern end of that, but it's brought in a north northwesterly flow pattern that has cooled us down by a tune of some 10 to 15 degrees over what we had just on Saturday. Um, you see, there's that load. This is tomorrow morning moving well off to our north. Uh, and then there's another load back here. This is Monday afternoon out to sea. So we're kind of in between things. We could hit 80 tomorrow. I think it's more likely that we'll stay in the 70s, but a little bit warmer by maybe five degrees warmer than what we have been today. And then we get into Tuesday. Now, Tuesday, we get a southwesterly flow push right in here, follow the contour lines, ahead of this next cold trough or cooler trough that's coming in. So the models love us shooting well up into the 80s on Tuesday, kind of a one-day bounce. And then we'll be back down into the 70s on Wednesday with this low. Now, the question is, how much cloudiness do we get Wednesday? And is there a rain chance that develops the PM hours of Wednesday? Or is the rain chance hold off until Wednesday overnight, Thursday? That could go either way. Um, you can see the cooler system certainly coming in. This is Wednesday at um, 5 p.m. Rain chance certainly overnight into Thursday morning. And then Thursday afternoon, that moves out into Montana. We start to get partial clearing. And then we're going to warm up. I've got us in the low 80s on Friday and Saturday. There's Friday. 
Saturday southwesterly flow pattern, but increasing clouds potentially. And then this next trough coming in is Sunday. This is going to go into Sunday afternoon right here. Now, actually, that trough works across. Here it is Sunday at 5 p.m. So clouds, maybe partly Sunday, mostly cloudy, and the threat of some rain on Sunday. Early models are going nuts on the American GFS model. They were going over a quarter of an inch of rain, probably way too high. So just think maybe there's some wetting this Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe there's some wetting on Sunday. And then right now, this does show that there could be some warm up with temperatures back up into the 80s on Tuesday, July 2nd. Um, this low up here, some of the models actually take that and drop it and develop it to the south and push it into us on July 4th. So July 4th's forecast, is it going to be sunny and warm? Or is it going to be a lot of clouds, at least a rain threat with highs in the 70s? That's a possibility right now. So again, July 4th forecast, way out there, not certain, but the possibility that uh, it's not a bright, sunny day. We'll keep you updated on that. Here's the, uh, sticking with the GFS model, this shows a chance of showers inland Wednesday morning, right off the bat. And then not much in the valley, but continuing chances at the coast and certainly up to our north. This is Wednesday afternoon. Nothing down here in Southern Oregon. This is Thursday, Wednesday overnight into Thursday morning. Clouds, chance of showers, I think, North Valley, certainly up north, nothing to the south. And then there it is, Wednesday afternoon. Now it's starting to see it's all starting to shift out of here. Remember that low quickly goes into Montana. There's Friday morning. So that didn't look like much. And that's the point. Again, I'm, I'm tracking, is there a chance of rain developing Wednesday p.m.? I'm probably going to add that. So an ongoing chance of traces of moisture or maybe some light moisture Wednesday afternoon and the Thursday afternoon for the northern half of Oregon and up into Washington. Okay. Um, that's it. Not much going on. Well, typically there's not much going on this time of the year, right? Uh, 90 degrees down in Medford. Been hot down in southern Oregon. How about a 96 on Tuesday? And then cooling off midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, but then back up to 89 Friday, Saturday. Again, no chance of rain in Southern Oregon. What about beautiful Bend? 84 tomorrow. There's a warm up. 92 on Tuesday. Wow. And then cooling down to 72 by Thursday. No rain chance in there whatsoever. Okay. Let's go North Bend. No rain chance. Southern Oregon coast. Mainly temperatures in the 60s, as you can see. Let's go uh, up to Salem. Uh, let's see here. 81 on Monday. I mean, I think 80, 81 is the absolute high end of what we could do on Monday. I'm not convinced by that. 88 Tuesday looks reasonable for Salem. And then there's a cool down and this holds a shower chance Thursday. But again, we're wondering if there's a shower chance that pops Wednesday PM into Thursday. Again, it wouldn't be much. And then low eighties on Friday and Saturday. Okay. Let's bounce it up to uh, Seattle. About 71, decreasing clouds on Monday. A beautiful Tuesday. Could hit 80, 78. Chance of showers Wednesday and Thursday. Again, better chances of rain from what I'm looking at to the north, up into Washington. It's certainly a lesser chance south of Portland. And then this shows dry weather Friday, Saturday. And there's that Sunday, that second rain chance showing up, up in Seattle. Okay. Uh, here, 65 up there right now. Here's Portland's seven-day forecast, courtesy of Hazeldale Tire Pros. So uh, it's been low to mid 70s today. I think Portland could hit 80, but I like 78 tomorrow. I like a noticeable warm up on Tuesday. Clears the bell, 86. I like Wednesday clouds increasing, and I may add a chance of a p.m. shower. So that chance of a shower p.m. Wednesday into Thursday a.m. Friday, Saturday, low 80s. Again, remember I said mostly comfortable days. So I, I realize Tuesday is going to be a little toasty, but the rest of the seven days were really comfortable. And there are the clouds and that a second shower chance on Sunday with a high of 73. And again, Sunday is the final day of June. So assuming that we don't hit 90 on Tuesday, June's going to shut the door with two 90 degree days and temperatures that are probably going to end up averaging about a degree to maybe a degree and a half above normal for the month. Not bad. Pretty nice overall. I think you'll agree. I'm Rod Hill. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you soon.